we just saw a table that had a double sort, a major sort and a minor sort. And of course, the major sort had precedence, the most power. Now, when you need up to four columns to have an equal precedence, you can create a cluster-based table. And that's what you're going to see in our next example. When I first saw cluster-based tables, I'd never seen them before. And I said, what planet is that from? This is something that's a little bit unnatural and it's hard to see. So I've covered this with many different slides to give you a whole bunch of different views here. But let's get the general idea here. I want you to take a look on this part of the slide, the left slide, and you're going to say, oh, customer 007 has placed a lot of different orders. And customer 007 is in all of the extents on this SPOO. As you can see, customer 007 is in all of those. So if we were querying where customer number is equal to 007, it's going to have to look in every single extent. When you're able to do cluster-based tables, they're able to put up to four columns and coordinate those. So as you can see here on the right, when we're looking for customer 007, we only have to read three extents to find them because it's been clustered with the other columns that we also specified. That's the general idea. Here's a better look at this. When we look at customer 007, we can see right there, it's only in some of the extents because it's been organized. Here is the syntax. Create table, table name as, select all the columns from the table, and here's the keyword. Organize on. And you can do it up to four columns. You can begin to experiment with great performance tuning. Look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to create a temporary table as, and I'm selecting my columns, and then I say organize on customer number and order date. And now I've got a CBT table. Look at this beautiful query. Select everything from my CBT table where customer number is equal to this and order dates between this and this. The whole purpose of this, not every extent is going to have to be read. And that's why you create a CBT table because you're going to be querying with multiple columns in the WHERE and AND clause. You get a chance to see this in action. There's a difference here between these two extents. In this first extent, I just order the table by order date. Now, I know this is a little hokey, but you've got customer number one, two, three, one, two, three, like that's the way they're really going to order, but I've done this so it make it easy for you. What you can see is our customers one, two, and three have been ordering their orders, and of course, it's order by order date. So if by chance I said, you know, I want to know where customer number one ordered in January, every single extent is going to have to be read, but now, I've created a CBT, and that CBT is going to organize on customer number and order date. So it's not like it's going to sort this by just order date or just customer number. So everything isn't going to be in a perfect order, but as you're going to notice here, they try to put things in a CBT table that are the organized keys together as often as possible. So now, based on this, they go, hey, listen, I want all the customer number ones in the first week of January. And this is not going to have to read every extent at all. You've got options when you create these CTOS tables. You can merely sort them and help the zone maps the way you need, or you can give these order without precedence and you can have a CBT table. CBTs improve query performance by adding more zone maps for a table because the organizing key columns are also zone mapped. 
CBT support multi-dimension lookups where you can organize records by one, two, three, or even four lookup keys. This is almost like a sort without a major and minor precedence. CBTs increase the supported data types for zone mapped columns, thus allowing you to improve performance for queries that didn't map certain columns, such as non-character columns, that were not zone map eligible before. CBTs allow you to incrementally organize data within your user tables in situations where data cannot easily be accumulated in staging areas for pre-ordering before insertions or data loads. CBTs can help you to eliminate or reduce pre-sorting of new table records before a load or insert operation. And CBTs save disk space, unlike indexes or materialized views. CBTs do not replicate the base table data and do not allocate additional data structures. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.